Long before the heart of Africa was ever mapped, explorers were irresistibly drawn to the secret world. greatest secret of all for thousands of years was the source of the world's longest river, the Nile. The Nile is unique. My friend Ethiopia, Sudan and Egypt follow different religions, yet they all draw spiritual sustenance from the river. The Nile has brought such wealth and power that many have tried to own it. But the river has defied even the mightiest pharaohs because it's greater than all of us. The waters of the Nile bring life and nourish the soul. Just Christians and Lonely Bella carved magnificent churches out of solid rock. The Blue Nile River has been carving this huge canyon through the highlands of Ethiopia, which the British named the Grand Canyon of Africa. The scout helps, but it's deceptive. From the air, it's really easy to forget that it's the most dangerous river in Africa. Scout confirmed. Before we departed, Muhammad had a promise to keep. My grandfather is a farmer in Egypt. He gets 100% of his water from the Nile. I promised him when I go to the river source, I would bring him a vial of holy water. The Ethiopians treasure the Nile, just as we do in Egypt. As we head down the river, the whole team is pumped. Most of the wild rivers on every continent have already been run, but not the Blue Nile. This is one of the last great river expeditions left in the world. ever succeeded in running this entire river from source to sea. All those who tried it have either died or given up. As a geologist, these lava flows have a certain fascination for me. Just hope my photos can capture their spirit. wonder Christianity survived here. The mountains kept invaders out. This is not exactly a gentle land. I admire fishing predators. They set eyes on one of the most magnificent sites in all of Africa, Tissisat Falls.
Gordon's a bit of a cowboy. He's got his own style of doing things. I told Pasquale I was going to run every inch of this river. I didn't come all this way just to collect water samples. I'm mainly here to experience the river, to gain some insights about it. But I'm also here to learn about myself. And I'm so surprised at what I can do. The Nile is in the rugged highlands of Ethiopia. The riches of Egypt are a gift from Lake Tana. Over 80% of the Nile's water comes from Ethiopia's Blue Nile and its tributaries. My goal is to lead the first team down the entire length of the Blue Nile, from here in Ethiopia all the way to the Mediterranean. 3,000 miles. I've brought my team to Lake Tana for the expedition of a lifetime. We reached the Ethiopian highlands just